Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new, awesome new arrival to show you. This is the 2022 Forest River Rogue Model 26 VKS. This particular unit comes in just under 8,000 pounds unloaded and is about 34 feet in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour of this open concept toy hauler. And we're going to talk about some of the upgrades that we've done to this. This one has got the dual air conditioners, the 5,500 watt generator, the optional fiberglass, what I call the exoskeleton on these, power tongue jack, fuel station, the cool free floating Euro chairs, and some of the great other features that come standard on these, such as the 12 volt tank heaters. Now, I know somebody's going to ask, is this half ton towable? And in my opinion, it is not. This is more of that three quarter ton gas or diesel uh, towable travel trailer. And the reason I say that is, you know, you'll, you'll see, okay, 7,942 pounds. I can pull 9,000 pounds with my half ton. That, that'll work perfect. And the reason that I say that it won't and is really because you know if you're hauling a four seat side by side that's about 1800 pounds just for that that's before you put in water this has a hundred gallon fresh water capacity this has a super high cargo capacity is where i was going with that and i started rambling like i usually do but um really in my opinion you're going to need a three quarter ton pickup to tow this easily half ton probably not um, they make some other great toy haulers that are half ton towable. Again, this one probably isn't, but let's go ahead now and we'll jump on to the inside. And if you appreciate the fair and honest reviews and appreciate the safety before the sale, feel free to hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below what you like, what you'd like to see changed. And uh, let's go ahead and get on to the inside. Okay guys, so with the slide out closed here, I want to give you a good idea um, of the space that you have here. Now you can see that you've got these two free floating chairs here. Those can be moved up here into the hallway, uh, but you're going to have about 74 or 75 inches between this cabinet over here and the slide out over there. So this will fit a four seat side by side. Now, if you're going to do big tires, extra winches, bumpers, things like that, um, you may want to look at a fifth wheel just because you get a little more height um, and a little more length. This is a 15 foot garage. So as you can see here, like I said, you've got plenty of room. You've got all kinds of tie downs. Um, you've got the sofa benches back here. I kind of have one folded up so you can see how much room that takes up. Um, and then if we spin back around this way, and I'll try to do this slowly in case you're sensitive to motion, you'll always have uh, full travel access to your bedroom, which you can see in there. And you can get to the bathroom very easily. So overall, this one for a toy hauler, it does about as good as you can, you know, as can be expected. Now you may have a hard time if you have toys in here getting to the refrigerator or some of the kitchen storage, but with a toy hauler, you're not gonna wanna stop and unload your toy just to get a drink out of the refrigerator. So I think most people buying a toy hauler kind of expect that, especially an open concept one like this one. All right guys, so with the slide out open, if we kind of pan around here, you can see how much room that you actually get when you're at a destination. And that's one thing that a slide out is always gonna give you is tons of room, tons of space uh, when you're at your campground. So with a toy hauler, normally I like to start these where I'm standing out on the back deck, but it is about 28, 30 degrees outside right now. So I figured I'd leave the back door closed today. Um, but you have a couple of nice bench seats back here. Now, as you saw when we had the slide out closed, those will both fold up out of the way. And there is a table that goes 
in between those. I just have that stored out of the way currently. Now, to make these into a bed, all you do... Now, I'm not going to do this just for the sake of time, and I need two hands to do it. But these will just roll over, like so. And then this other side will roll over like that. So as you can see there, um, and I did not get that pushed down all the way, but as you can see there, that will be a very nice sized bed. That's bigger than a queen size bed. So I really like that. Now, if we flip this one side up, I do want to mention, um, again, as we kind of back up here, I know I'm jumping around all over the place, but you do have the quick set bed system up here. This is really cool, and I want to go ahead and show you this in real time. You can do this one-handed, and if my chicken arms can do it, you can definitely do it. So, as we come back here, now what I've already done is I've already pulled these pins. You can kind of see it uh, right in there, that little uh, silver thing right next to that, uh, this black bracket here. And up back here, you have got a handle. And all you do is you pull straight down, like so. So again, that was probably really terrible camera work. Again, I'm doing this one-handed. So to back up, it will look like that when you pull it down. Now, to get it down the rest of the way, all you do is pull down on the front. And as again, as we back up, I know I'm kind of all over the place again, and I apologize. But that's what this bed looks like when it is in the down or the sleeping position. Now, this is rated at 500 pounds, which is, I think it's the, the, the most weight rating out of any rear bed system in a toy hauler that I've seen. Um, and the reason they went to this is the Happy Jack beds, like you see in a lot of other toy haulers, you know, your big names like Torque, um, striker fusion impact all that good you know those big name brands the uh those happy jack bed systems they're very prone to breaking and this is a proven system they've used this in motorhomes uh since back in i think the early 2000s or so and it's just a simple system there's only one way it goes up one way it goes down it's super easy to use, and most importantly, it doesn't break very often. So I really, really like this. And just to show you, to put it back up, all you do is grab this handle here, lift up. Once you get it about halfway, a little more than that. Yep, nope, there we go. Um, so you can see the struts take over. And then coming back here, and the camera work is about to get really terrible. But all you do is kind of stand up, and once you get about halfway, it will, uh, the struts will take over, and then you can put those pins back in when you're ready to, tra uh, to travel. You can see over here you have dual household outlets, one here, one there, so you can kind of divide those up for bottom bed, top bed. So I really like that, and the reason they're able to put outlets in the sidewall like this is this is a wood framed trailer this is not an aluminum frame trailer and I, I know people are going to see fiberglass and assume it is and I want to make sure and tell people that because a lot of you know the common misconception is if it's fiberglass it has to be aluminum and that's not always the case you've got a window over there with the snap off black shades uh yeah that's what I want to call those and if we look down at the floor, you have 2,500 pound rated tie downs. And you have a whole bunch of them. Now where the slide out comes in, you're not gonna have a ton of them, but at least you still have plenty over on the side you're gonna be loading at. Now a couple of optional pieces of equipment that we've added to this. This has got the two optional free floating Euro style chairs. And your little electrical outlet back over there too. Um, I really like these. You can leave them at home. You can take them outside, put them on the patio, um, throw them away, do whatever you want with them. Um, 
please don't throw them away. <laughs> but anyways, um, these are super flexible, super comfortable. They fully recline, which is nice too. Um, I really like them. They're like I said, they're super comfortable and they're not fixed like a lot of other brands are. There's some brands like your Eclipse, uh, attitude, I believe is what it is that everything's fixed and just kind of folds up out of the way. These are fully free floating. So you can set them wherever you want to. And that's something I like. Now, if we take a look at this window here and the camera's about to, uh, if you're sensitive to light, dark contrast, you may want to look away here uh, while I move these zebra shades. But as you can see here, you do have the zebra shades, which are very nice. You can let in as much or as little light as you want. And people either, either love or hate them. I really like them myself. But again, I know everybody's different. Now you're going to have another household outlet over here too, which is nice. If we look over here on uh, underneath this cabinet, you can see that you have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. So I really like that. It's super nice. Uh, it sounds really good. It's made by a company called Driven. And it'll control the interior and exterior speakers and has HDMI and USB plugs. So if you want to stick in like a Roku or Fire TV stick, you can. And... While we're talking about that, I do want to mention that you do have a 200 watt subwoofer in this trailer as well. So that is, yeah, I tell you, it sounds really good when you turn it all the way up. Um, not volume wise, but just turn the sub up. And you're probably noticing that we have two air conditioners on this. So the standard air conditioner, which is this one here is a 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner. For some weird reason, and I really don't remember ordering it this way, but we have two air conditioners. So the second one is another 15,000 BTU air conditioner. They are both ducted, which is super nice. And you don't always get that when you have a second air conditioner and a bumper pull. You can also see right here, you do have two uh, AC runs. So these are on what's called an, a double H ducted system. So you're not going to have any of those hot or cool spots. It, it distributes the air a lot more evenly. Over here, right inside the entry door. And let's just take a moment and talk about the window coverage real quick. Before we get back to that, you have a huge, nice window here to overlook your campsite. Plus you've got this window in the entry door. Um, which is nice as well. Now, real quick, you do have the juice pack voltmeter, slide and awning controls, and a whole bunch of lighting controls. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen. And man, I tell you, for a toy hauler, this 26 VKS by Rogue just has an amazing kitchen. Um, so we'll start over here. So one thing I forgot to talk about uh, in the previous clip is this is where your TV would go. Uh, TVs are not an option with the Rogue product, but they go ahead and give you the mount for your main TV. That way you know exactly where it's supposed to mount. And up in here, uh, which is going to be kind of hard to see, you can kind of see it right up in there, is where your connections are at. Now this is all pressed membrane, thermal foil style countertop. You can see kind of a little spice rack right up in here. Good storage up above there as well. You can also see that you have a one piece farm style sink and we'll get you a better look at that. So as you can see right there, spring loaded high rise faucet, hand sanitizer station. You've got a sink top cover as well. Good storage down underneath there. And then over here, you're probably wondering why is there not a cabinet there there's things there like your water heater and water pump and stuff over here you've got your tank monitoring panel as well as your 12 volt heat uh, heated holding tank switch which is this guy right here power outlet right there as well and then you've got your or another power outlet and your thermostat for your heater as well as your air conditioners now this does not have 
uh, heat or in-floor ducted heating in the toy hauler portion is cabinet ducted heating. There is a couple of places where they have in-floor heat in the bedroom and bathroom, uh, and I don't want somebody to uh, call me out on that. So uh, if you appreciate the fair point, again, hit that like and subscribe button over here uh, or down below. You can see you've got an electrical outlet right there above your three burner cooktop. Uh, I've got that in cooktop mode today, but it's a three burner cooktop. You've got the oven down below in case you want to do some baking. Notice you've got the light on in there as well as the lighted knobs, which make for a perfect night light. Over here, you do have a good space for some pots and pans. Three full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers. I like the deeper two down here too, by the way. And then you've got the top one, which you could use for some silverware window over there which is a very nice touch and it does open and then you've got another good cabinet storage right there as well over here you are going to have your microwave and hood range and real quick just so you can uh see all the options i'll go ahead and stop it right there uh that way you can kind of read that And if we look down here, as far as MSRP, you can see that this has an MSRP of $84,154. Now, I know somebody's going to say, I don't want to pay $84,000 for a bumper pull toy hauler. And because we're a discount dealer at Custom RV, that's not the price you'll pay. But because these videos live forever, I can't publish our sale price. Um, you, we have several of these in stock. So always check and make sure that the one you're looking at in the video matches the one we have. And uh, you can always give us a call at 806-335-2336 uh, if you have any questions about which one we still have. But I'll also post a link down in the description where you can view our sale price on these at any time. Now over here. This is a change for 2022, and that just shocked me. That did not feel good. Oh, it's taped. Apparently, you can tell that I do not... Uh, <laughs> I don't pre-plan this, so we'll leave it in there. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Um... I'll make myself look dumb. But anyways, this is the freezer portion. This is a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. Uh, this is the Canon brand, which is very similar to say an Everchill. Um, because we've optioned this one with the juice pack and juice pack expansion kit, uh, which is their solar packages, this will allow the, this to be very boondock friendly now you can um this uses about three amps of power when it's down to temperature it uses nine to ten amps of, uh per hour when it's cooling down but it only cools down in about an hour and a half which is again really nice plus you can run this in transit you can't do that with a gas and electric refrigerator anymore in most states and uh if you're wondering if there's a gas electric option, there is not currently. All the Cherokees have, uh, which this is an extended member of the Cherokee family, uh, in case you didn't know that, but they have gone away from the gas electric refrigerators and gone to the 12 volt fridges only. Now, a couple other things I forgot to talk about. This does have the ramp door patio kit. That's a standard piece of equipment. You can see that right there where that um, blue Moride sticker is. And then back here behind the bed, you can see that right here you are going to have your roll down tent wall screen walls. Uh, that way you can leave the door open and keep the bugs out. Lastly, I cannot believe I forgot to open this stuff. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll roll with it. So you've got good storage up over here for some of your bigger items, as you can see right there. And then right here, again, I, my, uh, I forgot to open those again. But anyways, you can see that you have good pantry space 
right there above your stereo system. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the kitchen. Let's go ahead now, jump a little bit forward. Let's take a look at the bedroom and bathroom. So as we come into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice over here, this is a dual entry bathroom. So you've got the doorway I'm standing in, then you've got one over here that goes directly into the bedroom. You can see that you do have a very, very generous, lin generous, generous linen closet. Apparently I still cannot talk today. So I'll go ahead and shut these real quick. Now, with this being a toy hauler, you uh, have a radius shower here. Nice, big, uh, oversized radius shower. And if we look up top here, you can see that you have plenty of room. You can be upwards of seven, seven and a half foot tall and still shower in here comfortably. With the, uh, You've got the skylight up top to lend in some natural light. Large medicine cabinet, not just a mirror, glued to the wall. Good thermal foil style countertops, and that is a huge sink. Light and fan switch here, GFI protected outlet. And then down here, you've got some good storage right there. Lastly, you do have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Uh, pardon the packaging on there. This unit just came in yesterday. So as we come in here, and this is the little heat vents that I was talking about. There's a couple of those up in this part of the camper, um, as mentioned earlier. Now, with this bedroom, since it is kind of compact, I do want to switch to the wider camera angle. So you can kind of get a better idea of what we're looking at real quick before we get into detail. So you can see that this is a camper king bed. Uh, this is 70 inches wide by 74 inches long. So it's not a true king, but it is a king bed. And I really like that. Uh, you can see that you have windows on both sides. They do open. You're also gonna have, you can see it back behind this door over here. You've got uh, household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Now, if we come in just a little bit closer here, you can see that you do have hanging closets on both sides of the bed. There is storage underneath the bed that connects to the pass-through, and then you've got good storage all the way across the top, and then there's that other hanging wardrobe. Now, back in here, you do have the pleated nightshades, so just keep that in mind. They don't use the zebra shades throughout the whole camper. Over here, and this is so smart, you've got your battery disconnect, and your breakers and fuses right there. And I like that they put it back here so you can get to it uh, if you have a toy in here and you, you know your slide out doesn't work, for which sometimes you pop fuses. And then down here is where your generator start and stop switch is. So overall guys, this is a very, very good, I'm not gonna call it an entry level toy hauler because it's not, you know, we can also carry that Salem FSX and they have a floor plan kind of similar to this without the slide out. And that's what I would consider a entry level toy hauler. Uh, this is more of that next step up. It's not super high end, but it's not, it's not uh, a crossover because this is a true 102 inch wide toy hauler. So with that being said, let's go ahead now. We'll jump onto the outside, take a look at the features there. And again, let me know if you have any feedback. Okay guys, so we're back on the outside of this 26 VKS by Rogue. So, first thing I want to get out of the way is, again, this has the optional fiberglass exterior instead of the aluminum side. Uh, you can get this either way, we just like to bring it in with the aluminum, or I'm sorry, the fiberglass, if at all possible, since we are in hail country. Now, what will not change is this front sweep here, that is still aluminum, so keep that in mind. We have optioned in the power tongue jack because these things are so heavy on the front, you're not gonna wanna crank it. Um, th this is a very heavy duty tongue jack. Uh, you've got your safety chain hooks, seven way plug holder in on there as well. Two 20 pound propane tanks. You also can have your group 27 series battery, which is part of the juice pack, which is a 50 watt solar panel. Again, we have optioned in the second 100 watt panel um, and this also has a 30 amp charge controller, 
which will give you the ability to put up to 500 watts of solar on this without having to upgrade anything, which is pretty dang cool. Coming down here, you are going to have your manual stabilizer jacks, as you can see right there. Now, I'm going to I'm going to tell you something that I don't like about this. They still use the little old-fashioned clip-a-doodle things. Vengeance, Rogue, if you're listening, please put the magnetic holdbacks on these. It would make things so much easier. For what these things cost, a lot of people expect the magnets. Now, down in here is your three-quarters storage compartment. It does go underneath the bed, and there's that table I was talking about. Notice that you do have some tie-downs here. And then up in here is your solar charge controller. As we come down the side, first thing I want to mention, I always forget this, but you do have a nice floodlight up here. As we go back just a little bit, you can see just again how high gloss this fiberglass is. Um, again, this is a wood framed trailer underneath that, so it's like an exoskeleton nice big power awning you do have the blue led light pods you can kind of see one right up in this area here the glass entry door there i really like that and that does have a viewing window from the inside larger entry assist handle and then you've got the triple step moride step above steps next to those gorgeous looking aluminum wheels if we drop down underneath and real quick, I want to go ahead and do this so you can kind of see it a little better. But you can see this has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly, uh, which I really like. And again, this has 12 volt heat pads on the holding tanks. As we move back down the side of the camper, you can see that you have two outside speakers. Uh, right here is gonna be an outside TV port. So if you do want to bring an outside TV you can and then you've got the cable and satellite hookups right there as well right next to the entry door you do have the leash latch so you can uh, tie up your fur babies or some unruly kids if you have those um, just kidding don't do that back here you have a second leash latch, and then you've got your 30 gallon fuel station. And here's gonna be the dispense nozzles, just like at a gas station. And then right next to that fill area right here, you do have your pump. Uh, it's just a simple on and off, and it has a visual indication there, which is pretty cool. Now with that pump and that 30 gallon fuel station, 10 of that is dedicated directly to the generator if equipped. This one has it, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. Again, this does have the ramp door patio system. I just don't have it down today. Figured I'd try something a little different. You can see you have the LED scene light here, and then you've got your LC LCI Insight rear vision camera and uh, observation camera. This is a spring-loaded door, so it is fairly easy to raise and lower. Coming back over to the off camp side everybody always asks me what these are these are vents so when you pull in a toy uh, and then drive down the road you can open both those and exhaust all the fumes so we come back over here you've got your 50 amp service here's that slide out is a rack and pinion style slide as we come up front here you can see you have your furnace your cable and satellite hookup right there. And then you've got your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. Now, right over here, you are gonna have your terminations. They're nice and easy to get to. They're not underneath the slide out, which is a very good thing. And they're kind of tucked up away from the ground. So you've got some pretty good ground clearance from those. Right here, this is going to be a cold water spray port, so that's cold water only. And then you've got your black tank flush, city water and fresh water connection, and a hot and cold outside utility shower. So a lot of brands will either give you the shower or the spray port. 
Rogue gives you both. And that's one thing of the things that I really like about them. Now, this is a big deal feature. In a 33 foot travel trailer, I don't know of another brand that will give you a full fifth wheel sized 5,500 watt generator. This is the Yamaha generator. And the cool thing about this, number one, it's an inverter generator. So it's 100% clean powered. It's about 25% quieter than an Onan. It's way more fuel efficient. Uh, we had a one of these rogues down at Paladero Canyon this summer, uh, which by the way, if you haven't been to Paladero Canyon, look it up. You should, you should check it out. Um, and we were running the air conditioner at a, a, a fundraiser event called 24 Hours in the Canyon. It uh, benefits cancer survivors. So it's a really good cause. Um, but we had a, a trailer down there as a command center and the air conditioner ran and lights ran 11 hours straight and it only used about an eighth of a tank of gas, which is pretty cool. Now you've got that switch on the inside I showed you. This also has a pull start backup, which is pretty cool. The Onan does not have that. And this is a Forest River exclusive generator for I believe the next three years. Uh, it also has a wireless key fob so you can start it from your pickup truck, which is again, pretty cool. Um, so I really like this. You can also get this in a 30 amp with a 4,000 watt generator. So just keep that in mind. But overall guys, this is a very, very, very uh, highly equipped travel trailer for the price point that you're actually paying for it. It has a lot of fifth wheel style features uh, that a lot of people really like. But again, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Rogue by Forest River model 26 VKS. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions or if you like pricing and availability, I'll post a link again down in the video description. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336. You can shoot us an email at contacts at custom-rv.com. And please leave us any feedback down, uh, that you have down in the comment section down below. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. That really helps us out. Uh, lets us know people are liking what I'm putting out. And... If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That helps you stay up to date with all of our new videos. And I tell you, we've got some neat stuff coming. You're really going to like it. Again, guys, as I've said a couple of times now, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and found this video informative. We appreciate every single one of y'all that is taking the time to comment, share, subscribe, like, watch our videos. We hope that you have a very safe and very wonderful holiday season. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, we'll talk to you again very soon. See y'all later.